Welcome back, friends. I am Simon. I'm Ellie. And if you enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. Now, a while ago, we did a trailer reaction to the first trailer for Furiosa, a continuation of the Mad Max saga. And we really liked the look of it. There was a question about some CGI that either looked a little bit unfinished, or was it supposed to be dreamlike and look, look a little bit weird? Uh, there was a minor gripe around that. But other than that, it looked really compelling. It had some great casting in it. And we've just received a trailer two. So we're gonna check out trailer two for the very first time right now. You will be able to see our reactions and then afterwards we will tell you our impressions. But for now, let's go. Let's do this. Furiosa, we've come too far. Yikes. Child, my world was forever changed. My mother was magnificent. And wow. you took it all from me. Who do we have here? She's from a place of abundance. This is our destiny. My childhood. Them back. Man. Whatever you have to do, however long it takes, promise you'll find your way home. Protect the green place. It's time to take what rightfully ours! Shabby! Wow! I love that. Where are you going? Sorry, full of heart. There is no heart. If you find him, he's mine. There will always be war, but to get home, Furiosa fought the world. Nice! Remember me. Oh my goodness, and we only have two months to wait to see Furiosa in the cinemas. What was your impression of trailer two? I think um, this second trailer, more so than the first, it really stood out how much they've um, kind of highlighted how much Anya Taylor-Joy looks like Charlize Theron. Um, and it's, she just, there's such something about her face that they just, they look, I wasn't convinced the first time, but they look so similar. Mm. I'm looking forward to find out how she loses her arm. That yes. That we saw her before and then after her arm loss. Um, the thing I'm really excited about is George Miller had such a singular vision for the Mad Max movies um, and he was completely uncompromising to the point that it, it stalled some of his, these movies being made by decades at some points just because he refused to compromise. Um, and I think that's contributed to the success of the movies. Just having that uncompromising vision just gives you so much more clarity than if you kind of let the studios mess around. And, you know, he's got the ability to do that. I'm so interested to see because the practical effects, down to building the vehicles so they're actually functional, and then driving them through the desert, I'm really interested to see if he's been able to stick to that for this because it caused a lot of issues with Fury Road, um, safety concerns, and just like the practicalities of having those enormous vehicles in the desert. I'm really interested to find out how much of this he was able to keep practical. And just from the scope of what we see in this, I think that would be an enormous challenge. Yeah, I mean, it certainly looks like it's got a very similar visual style to the first movie, blending those practical effects with CGI in places. And it gives it a really unique look. I, I called out just before we watched this in the first trailer, there were moments where the CGI 
either looked raw or it looked like it was supposed to be more of a dreamlike state and, mm. and therefore looked odd compared to the rest of the trailer. In, in this, I only saw it in one moment when it was kind of a flashback to Furiosa being kidnapped and it did make me think that maybe that was supposed to be like mm. a, a memory and therefore this weird sort of ephemeral look to it. So uh, either that or they've just tweaked the CGI simply in post to make it look better mm. at this point. I mean, it's been a minute. It's been three months since we th saw the, the first trailer. So therefore they've had time to to fix it up and tweak it based on what people were saying. But man, it just looks fantastic. Talking about lookalikes, so Chris Hemsworth, while he may look a little bit like Thor, clearly a very different character. I just loved his character in this trailer. He's so, yeah. so wacky. He finally gets to sound like an actual Australian and not put on his dodgy English accent. But I, I love his character in this. He's like this crazy desert Jesus guy. <laughs> he just seems hilarious and insane at the same time. Also kind of scary. Also completely jacked because it's Chris Hemsworth. But this crazy jacked desert hobo Jesus looking dude, I I, I could not ask for more from Chris Hemsworth in that the role. The nose is a choice, though. I think I, they, they could have gone a different direction with the nose. I like the nose. I, I think it's a very flattering nose. A handsome nose, if you will. <laughs> well, uh, well, I think you've got two people who are very, very uh, excited for Furiosa in just two months. What do you think about it? Are you excited? Are you going to spend your hard-earned cash to go see this at the box office? I think we are. It looks like it's going to be a fun ride and a good continuation of Fury Road. So well, hey, thank you for checking out our video. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, we will see you very soon, friends, on the next Nerd Safari. Peace out, nerds.